And that is one of the biggest issues that many, many people write to me about is insomnia, mm. sleeplessness. Yeah. Now, you specifically mentioned ability to sleep and you must do something. What do you do that enables people to start getting a better night's sleep, which clearly is a pathway to better health? Pathway. Definitely. So sleep can be disrupted for a whole host of reasons. And the reason why one person might not be sleeping well is very different than the next. But um, in a nutshell, you know, making sure that you have a good foundation, you have a good, um, you know, I work with people on establishing a good nightly routine. So you're your brain and your body love routine. You have a circadian rhythm and um, taking advantage of um, getting into the routine where at, for example, 830, you turn off the TV, the computer, um, you dim the lights so that your body starts to recognize that it's no longer daytime. It's time for nighttime. What happens at night is I sleep. So it's time to, we're in this world of continuous light, continuous stimulation. Um, a lot of us, and I'm guilty of it too, as an independent practitioner with my own business, I'm often on the computer answering emails or um, you know, just getting caught up on stuff from the day, notes. Um, I'm up till 10.30 on my computer. Well, computers, TVs, um, alarm clocks even, they're full of blue light. Um, light that has a, a blue frequency comes from our electronics. Well, that blue light goes into our eyes and actually inhibits um, the production of serotonin? Melatonin. Melatonin. Okay, yeah. Um, so that blue light goes in and inhibits the production of melatonin. And um, so oftentimes I'll tell people, turn the computers off um, and or put on a pair of um, amber glasses. Have you seen them? Uh -huh. Okay, there you are, blue light blocking glasses. Um, my dad has a pair, my brother has a pair. Um, you can get them on Amazon, I could share the link for sure. But um, you can also buy blue light blocking uh, phone screens, computer software to take away the blue light to minimize your blue light exposure. Um, I'm a really big advocate of just saying, turn it all off and find something Conversate with your spouse, um, stretch, go for a walk outside, um, you know, sit on your deck and drink a warm cup of tea. It sounds incredibly boring, but we need to bring that stimulation level down. Um, beyond that, making sure that your, your room is a conducive place to sleep. Um, you know, minimize the light, minimize the noise as much as possible. You should not have a TV in your room. I hate to say that because a lot of people do, but you shouldn't have a TV in your room. Your, your bedroom is meant for sleeping and sex. Those are the only two things that you do in there. You don't eat in there. You don't even read in there. Uh, you definitely don't watch TV in there. Um, it is a sanctuary to help you sleep. So uh, beyond that, turn the alarm clock away from your bed. Um, avoid caffeine, um, antidepressants, antihistamines, antipsychotics um, for like eight hours before you go to bed. No smoking, um, and at least in the later half of the day. If not, just give it up altogether. Um, and so I help people kind of feel out where their biggest deficits are in their routine. And um, then you have people who have specific symptoms, like they have cramps in their legs um, or they um, have restless leg. And to some degree, you know, at some point, um, what they're suffering with might be beyond what I'm trained to manage. For example, some people have very violent dreams. They're violent. They have REM sleep disorder. And so I might recommend they go get a sleep test um, to test for sleep apnea um, or any other type of disorder that might be really easily treatable but hasn't been diagnosed quite yet. Restless leg, um, you know, I can recommend a few topical supplements. People find real good relief with magnesium for leg cramps. I had a client who, that was her main complaint at night. Her legs just um, cramped up at the, like the same time every night. And so we started, you know, just introducing some over-the-counter magnesium into our water, um, some gentle warm baths to help her relax and rejuvenate. And um, of course, exercise helps you regulate your um, circadian rhythm as well. Um, so if it's within my scope, 
I start there and then we see how far we can get to the point where if they need some, uh, someone else to look at them for nutritional def deficiencies or sleep disorders, then uh, we'll go there next. But also getting sunlight is crucial. Getting sunlight early in the day as much as you can. Just let it hit your skin, your face for 10 minutes at a time early in the day. That'll help you with that production of melatonin later in the day. So that's the answer to the sleep question. Well, that really was a fantastic <laughs> I know, answer. you can feel how it feels to be my client. <laughs> just spew things at you sometimes yeah, and it's this is something that's missing in so many people this kind of guidance right and it's not found in the medicine tablet 